evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most aggressive draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, and I'm joined for another Brothers War Draft, as always, by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? I'm doing pretty angry. I've had it with these f***ing aggro decks doing f***ing insane amounts of shit just f***ing all over the f***ing place. It's f***ing unbelievable. I can't win a f***ing draft this entire f***ing season, Sam. Can you f***ing believe it? This is shit. This is absolute shit. It's f***ing shit. It's just, it's all f***ed up. I hate it. See, the funny thing is the, uh, the the viewers have no idea what you just said because I couldn't be bothered putting that many individual beeps in. I'm just beeping out everything you just said. Oh, okay. Well, I'm very, I'm, I'm feeling very aggressive. Um, <laughs> it's been five, what, five, six weeks and uh, haven't done a single money back. Haven't done a single Maximum Magic Monday. Um, I'm livid, Sam. I'm livid. Shall we channel this energy into drafting a highly aggressive deck? No more fun decks. We've done fun decks last few weeks. Uh, fun out the window. We're just drafting Goblin Pikers today and Will Trophy. Okay? Are you all happy? Is that what you want? Is that what you came here for? Yes. I was so, re- I was so ready to open Cityscape level on there. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, that being said, ooh, the spider eye here is um is good. Oh, I should give you big cards. I like uh, big yeah. cards. This card is a uh, very good. First pick, the spider. I think so. Are there any good? Is that aggressive? Is... Are we feeling aggressive about the spider? Well, no, no. Well, maybe, maybe. Is it a particularly aggressive spider? It could be. Mm. Is it, it? It could be a funnel web. Oh, they are. Well, I, I don't think aren't funnel webs not particularly aggressive. You sound like someone who has never lived in Sydney your entire life. I've never actually encountered a funnel web. I don't think you've never. Oh my! God. Oh, oh, spider time! All right. Okay. Happy days. This is a good start. Spider. Right, like spider central. Spider time. We're spidering today. Uh, you've never encountered a funnel web? Never in, yeah, never, like, I've seen one at, like, you know, you go to the reptile park at, at yeah. school or whatever, and you see one behind the glass. Uh, oh, more spiders, Sam. We could take more spiders. More sp- more sp- spider tribal. Spider tribal. Or, I mean, disfigure is also just good. Disfigure is a pretty good option. Um, cool. This sounds like a great time to to let the viewers know about the Sydney funnel web spider. Um, yes, but Australia- no, I've never encountered one. Australia is pretty famous for its giant spiders. Um, the funnel web is not the biggest spider, but it is by far the most deadly. Um, normally, if I find a spider in the house, even if it's a like a dinner plate sized huntsman, you just catch it somehow and take it outside because they're fine. You don't want to you don't want to hurt the harmless spiders. Um, what are we taking here? Is this this was good in Kaladesh? Let's play the 17 lands music. Oh, yeah, play it. Oh, yeah. Key, yeah, the unblockableness was actually quite very good. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. No, not great in this format. Oh, okay. Apparently. Is this a Revenant or is this a Power Stone Factor? Or is Clear Cutter <laughs> good in, in this deck? It's probably Power Stone Factor. We'll find some just like random Power Stones or something else to sacrifice to this. Yeah, or is this the kind of sack guess, deck where the clay revenants at such a premium that we want to snap them up early? It's entirely possible, actually. Because we got two feels, spiders. We do have two spiders. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's tough. Oh, okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Vindicated, vindicated. Rewarded. All right, I'll take it over this removal spell. Okay, no, that's that's fair. We we okay. Everything is great. The draft punks are the best. That's all you needed to know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Funnel Web, not the biggest spider, but certainly the most deadly. Uh, I'm just going to pick up a Perimeter Patrol. Um, enough so that if I find a Funnel Web anywhere on my property, even if it's outside, I will generally kill it. Um, they're, they're too dangerous to... Oh, they gotta go. Yeah, they're, they're pretty scary things. Um... Hey Sam, Ornithopter. No, no. Yeah, no. put it. It's free. It's free. The card is free. <laughs> Come 
Come and get your free card, Jim. <laughs> I'm taking this. Um, but they are aggressive. They're they're really quite scary. Ah, uh, see, um, I thought they um they kind of didn't didn't mess with people too much. Because I so know the, the white tail really loves to get up in your business. So the the first time I ever saw or encountered a funnel web, because I, I I haven't always lived in Sydney, but shortly after me and my family moved here when I was a teenager, um, we found a funnel web sitting on the garden hose outside. Um, and we were quite excited because we'd never actually seen one before. Um, and so we grabbed a, like a clear plastic Tupperware container and captured it. Um, uh, Thopped is so bad. Is it? Yeah. If you're going to play flying two ones for three, you may as well play the Thopter over the other one. I guess so. I mean, you could pick sure. a trench stalker, but I don't think we are trench stalking. No, I don't think we are either. Um, I'm going to leave us some outs to get into black red, I guess. Maybe I should have taken a Penragon Stronghold out of that last pack, actually. Ah. Um, well, Blast Run is a good pickup if we find ourselves in black red. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. I mean, we could certainly end up black red and just, like, splash the spiders. Yeah. Love a good spider splash. Okay. Um, yeah, we caught this funnel web in... Hey, spider, put it in the deck. In this clear plastic container. Put a lid on it, of course. Um, and at the corner of the container where our hand was holding it, this funnel web was charging at that corner with its fangs and striking the container with its fangs. Just it like... What? Repeatedly, again and again and again. It wasn't a friend, is what you're telling us. It wasn't super happy to be picked up and put in a box. Like most spiders, you put in a box and they just like curl up in a corner and pretend everything's okay. Or they just this freak was... out. They're just like fucking going wild in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this thing was it, it was it was really quite scary. Um, wow. What do we got here? I want to say weld or thraxodomon. I do like Thrax Ottoman. I think I like Gaia's Gift even more than Thrax Ottoman, but if there's a chance we abandon green, we're probably going to want Thrax Ottoman. Is there an argument for Energy Refractor? Can you sack that to the the sky? Uh, no, it's creatures only. Yeah. Uh, wow, okay. if you could just yeah. sack a Power Stone to the spider, that would be... Crazy. That'd be pretty awesome. Ooh, another disfigure. Uh, We've got a vermin as well. Shootdown's yeah. also eminently playable. And there's evolving wilds to help us if we're going to do the black red plan. Let's bring these in just in. Whoop. Let's bring these in just in case. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with disfigure. Yes. This, this one in particular. Disfigure, yeah. particularly. Um. Oh, weld. Love a weld. Yeah, weld's pretty good with the double spider, isn't it? Yeah, it, it seems great with it. To, like, get back a spider, sack the token, do the spider, kill another thing. Oh, wow, that's pretty sick, isn't it? Because I do love our Gothian sprite as well. Yeah, actually, I've come up on the sprite since the beginning of the format. I used to thought it was a pretty yeah. dorky two-mana tutu, but it's actually... um. That first line of text comes up more often than you'd think. So does so does the second line. And just two drops are really good in this format. But yeah, I think I can get in for a weld. Unless... Yeah, let's weld, weld them up. All right. It's a well done pick. It's a weld. <laughs> They're about to enter a weld of hurt. Um, okay. Second. Ooh, another Thrax Ottoman. Yeah, that's not bad. Another Thrax Ottoman. Don't mind that. <laughs> let's go <laughs> oh spiders dot deck this is a, I'm, okay. Okay, I'm, okay okay this is the best deck we've ever drafted ever okay this is cool 
All right, I'm into this. Triple spiders. I can see the thumbnail now. <laughs> yeah. Um, confrontation. Do you know the fun fact about this card? Is it that it's just so bad and it makes your deck worse by even picking it? It is officially the worst card in 17 lands history. Oh no! <laughs> Actively makes your deck worse. Yeah. I'll grab a confrontation, I guess. Unless we just want random two drop. Um, maybe? I mean... I kind of want random two drop. We've got three spiders, two disfigures. Yeah, you may actually... Oh! The ocean frontliner would be great if we were touching white, but we're not quite touching white, are we? Yeah, I've had I had this in a few decks over the weekend, and man, is it impressive! Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, just I won so many games just by like this into Mutt, and then they oh don't yeah ever wow want, like you never want to trade with Mutt right, but if the Mutt's a three two, yeah, that was, uh, that was very good. Yeah, Golem. I don't I don't mind Golem. I think Golem's nice. Oh, Revenant. Oh, put him in. Oh, there's also Infiltrator. We'll pick up Infiltrators. Okay. Yeah, Revenant's pretty important to what we're doing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we need we need uh we need things to sack to those spiders. Um Ooh, ooh. Gift. Wow. Gift, that Locust, quite, Prowler, quite gift, and Clear Cutter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't mind gift actually. It's quite a gift. Oh, shit down, down shit down as well. Okay, well we're definitely yeah. grain. Which I think is better than second Boulder Branch Golem. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we would play two. Ah, maybe we might play two. But it uh, is a considerable number of four drops. Yeah. Okay, Primitive Patrol. Sure. Well, hey, you uh, like one mana one ones? I do like the Star Ward. I'm coming up and up on this card. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the hot combo I picked up from Limited Resources this week is you pair this with Howling Mine. Oh, that's awesome. Because Howling Mine has just that old ancient text where it doesn't work if it's tapped. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, all, oh. That's nice. Very decent last pick. Uh, um, hello. Mishra Tama of Muff. Oh my God. This is a very beep, beep filled. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to beep punks. Um, well, there's a Gixian infiltrator. No one left behind is also good ish. Third clay revenant. Um, Whoa. What do you reckon the win rate on this Mishra is? 50. Yeah. 49.9. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I totally guessed. Um, wow. so just sort of average. No, like well below average. Remember, 55 is oh, average. okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, Infiltrator, we uh, I, yeah, I could, I could see the Infiltrator there. That was, that was tricky. Ooh, what the hell? What's going on here? It's possible that should have been Cohort. Oh, we could get another Power Stone Fracture. We've just got so many four drops already. Uh, there is another Power Stone Fracture. What's the, what's the rare? Not very good. Ah. No. No, it isn't. Um. Steel Seeker. Eh? I don't think we have enough artifacts. We're not a very artifact heavy deck, are we? No, you're right. Um. I, if we were artifact heavy, I would like this a lot, but. We'll grab the fracture. No, fracture's fracture's good. Uh, I really hope that oh, we hope that another we... weld. What about mutt? I mean, we're not unearthing it. Yeah. I like mm. weld though. Really? I just love weld. I think weld's just a sweet card. I just put it in every single deck. I I was real I was really hard on it at the start of the format. Yeah. I mean other than that, it's shoot down Well it's Mutt isn't the one I want to take. I just, just like I I think Mutt is good, but I don't think it's 
I don't think two mana two one that ETB loots is maybe it is, and maybe I'm just wrong. I I think it's really really good. Um, uh, wow, we could go trip Thrax Ottoman, or we could, or we could draft Bone Saw. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> opportunist is actually drops. pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is opportunist, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it could be Mistress Foundry, but I, I think opportunist is is good. No, I agree. And we're a little light on the three drop slot anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, ooh. There's the desk. I've heard the desk is just amazing. Yes. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, but yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Uh, is it good if you can't unearth it, though? And we have zero ways to unearth? Uh, well, I mean, we've got the, the, the fixer the fixer upper in, in the stalwart. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I mean, we're not playing this. Would we play two giant growths? Hey, it's an aggressive format, apparently. Oh, research desk. Uh, oh, another weld? Epic uh, confrontation? Should have taken the mutt. This isn't the wheel. Should've oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Should have taken the mutt. I don't think we'll play three welds. Uh, confrontation at least isn't terrible. Yes, yeah. Uh, oh, another uh, gift, another confrontation. Gift. gift seems good. Okay. Oh, another opportunist. Opportunist. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, cool. <laughs> more perimeter patrols. More perimeter patrols. Um, which sure. are getting better with those opportunists. That's true. Yeah. Oh, it's more spiders, Sam. More spiders. We have this is the most amount of spiders anyone has ever drafted. <laughs> Short of spider spawning. Uh we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, okay, well look, deck's perfect, Sam. This is this is it. We found deck is, I I deck you know what? Nice. I'm feeling it this week. You feeling it? I'm feeling it. I feel like this deck is unassuming enough so that we are not blinded by single single bomb or hubris mm -hmm. um it's it's got grind potential i like it oh we didn't wheel that third clay revenant no we didn't that's all right okay i like it i like it sam i like it it's brimming with removal B positively brimming with removal yeah i think we got a i think we got a i think we got a winner I, I think we got a winner. Um, dear viewer, do not look at the runtime. <laughs> Is this a Thran Vigil deck? With double Clay Revenant? Um, ooh, double, double Clay Revenant and double Emergency Weld? It's probably not good enough still. It is it is two, two mana do nothing. It is, yeah. And that does, that does kind of suck. Yeah. I have tried it once, and there were games where if I had it in play, it would have been incredible. And then the games that I did draw it, I didn't draw the Clay Revenant, and it just it didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, if we get the Thrax on Clay Revenant combo gun, we're we grinding. Yeah. We yeah. grinding like never before. Um, now. Blur... Blanchwood Prowler, hilariously enough, seems not bad in this deck. Yeah, right. Pick up a land with it and then just pitch it to a spider. Yeah. Yeah. Um, giant growth deck. Yeah, giant growth. Little, it's it's a little dubious. Go down a Gaia's gift. Is it shoot? Uh, I think we got to go some amount of perimeter patrols. <laughs> I reckon go down a perimeter yeah. patrol, back up a guy's okay. gift. Oh no, we've the got. The problem is, the, like, what are we protecting with guy's gift? Spider. I want spider to die so I can pick it up. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Um, 
I don't mind playing one, but I could very easily see a hand where we've got just like an Argothian opportunist and two guys get something like, great. <laughs> that is a fair point. Um, this is this is the number of cards. Do we want to play 16 lands? Um, you know what? With two opportunists... Oh, uh, we, did we lose the other one drop? We, we don't like it. Yeah, I cut the, the lunatic guy. Um, the mana, the mana dork. Yeah, lunatic sentinel, is that what it's called? The sitinol. Oh, lunatic. Nah. <laughs> oh, so Some many jokes. jokes. For, those, for those that don't know that one. <laughs> um, no respect for the reconstructed Thopter. I'm going to 17 lands right now and you cannot stop me. I reckon it's lands. 51%. Ooh. We're going to find out. Uh, what's it called? Thopter. Just Thopter. Uh, um, reconstructed Thopter, huh? Yeah. We're going to find out. Reconstructed Thopter. Oh, uh, ye of little faith, Sam. What do you think it is? It's 52%, isn't it? No. Tell me. 55.3. Wow. Still below average, but that's better than I thought it was. Yeah. Cool. Um, Deck? So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with 17 lands because I think we could very easily get into situations where we want to have, like, Thrax Ottomon plus Clay Revenant activations, hold up Gaia's gift. Yeah, you may... Plus you may have... have a point, and we have a sizable quantity of four drops. So, yeah, I think this is okay. okay. Even though I know the comment section is all about that 16 land life. Uh, I, I am too, actually. If if we were going to cut to 40, I would have cut a land. Because mm. sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. I would have cut Ornithopter. You didn't even pick Ornithopter. Yes, I did. You picked Reconstructed Thopter, which is eminently playable, according to 17 lands. I picked Ornithopter. Oh, i got to find out where Ornithopter is on 17 lands while I'm here. <laughs> that one's going to be in the 40s. Uh, uh, this looks good. Yeah, it does, actually. It's actually kind of aggressive. <laughs> I'm just going to curve mm. out on him. Uh, oop, Bauble. Okay. Play Bauble's Modern good. over here. Oh, they finally put Bobble on on draft. It was uh, it was excluded from the draft set for a little while. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's banned in historic, and so I think they forgot to oh, they encode forgot it to in the draft. Program set. it. <laughs> yeah. It was the only card they preemptively banned in historic. The rest of them went straight in. Okay, so opponent knows what's up. Opponent's got the the archetypical deck that wins in this format. Um, how do you like a Ward 2-3 one, opponent? Can't touch this. No, 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 no. Oh, it gets in there. There's no way we block, right? Unless they play another Mutt. Oh. Or, or they do that. I We've mean, Disfigure foiled. cleans that up pretty well. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep playing guys, though. Or do I play Opportunist? Opportunist is probably better. Um, yeah, because even if we don't drop... If we don't draw a land next time, we can still Boulder Branch Golem. Yeah, although this would get plus one from the Opportunist, which would let it attack through this. I mean, Disfigure also does that. But then again, you guess you're not playing else, anything else this time. Um, I think I like this, actually. Okay. No attacks. And if we draw a land next time, next turn this is gravy anyway. We could do a opportunist and disfigure and swing with both. Oh, also, that's pretty good. My... That is pretty good. Uh, I don't this think it blocks. I don't think it blocks mutt for very long. <laughs> no, it's it's mutt blocking days appear to be limited. Four one. Cut the four. Oh, 
Because I like, I really now. like Cop the Four Flunge next turn. And maybe they Flunge just go this. no blocks and we are sad. You want to attack with this? Yeah, yeah, In- Disfigure. Disfigure is, it just handles anything. Everything. That's true, it does handle anything. Okay. Um, you or could... I could play... I mean, opportunist into attack with perimeter patrol is also valid. Also um, decent, right. But I feel like we need to try to race them somehow. But then again, maybe they just don't block because they've got like a Yoshin, like a scrap work cohort next turn, or we're just going to get the piss beat out of us. That being said, Boulder Branch Golem comes in and uh, gains a little bit of life. That's true. This does help in the race. Um, uh, I kind of called it, didn't I? Gross. Oh, that's a disgusting one. Um, <laughs> do we take okay. nine? I don't think so. Oh, double disfigure well, for the Vanguard. Let's go. That's probably what we're doing. That's probably what we're doing. Um, yeah, I mean, you could boulder branch golem. Yeah. Ah, uh, the 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 old two for one, huh? Sometimes you just gotta do it. They don't feel good, but it had to be done. This is when they play another Falaji Vanguard. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> can we draw a spider, please? Oh, we can't even cast spider. Can we draw a power stone fracture? Oh, sorry, we can hit it with this. Oh, yeah, we can. Except uh, we have yeah. to draw land for that. And we're also... Um... Sorry, we have lands in our deck. So... Oh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. And it exiles as well. Get out of here. See ya. So they've... Yeah. They've hit us with what? Best uncommon, one of the best rares? One of and one of, but yeah. Okay, nice. We we have three of the best uncommon. Wow, if there's something to give Exalted, it's that. That's pretty good. I mean... Double block? Yeah. Yeah. Unless they have tricks in which, like, well, then it's just sad for all, us anyway, but... Yeah, so be it. Okay. I had an opponent put this on Sky Strike Legionnaire. Is that what it's called? Oh, the, the two on with Flash and Flying? No, the two oh, the three one that... two. No, oh, the, the two, one that makes rare. a dude! Oh, yeah. that's disgusting! Yeah, it was, uh... That was pretty gnarly. Um, now, we've play. reached an important crossroads. Do we go for seven on Boulder yeah. Branch Golem? Or oh, yeah, do- I can just pick up Patrol this turn. Or, op- or Opportunist, or opportunist to, to ensure the seven next turn. Let's do it. Look at that. Now, this is how you play Magic. Look at that. And we used all our mana. Ha! Huh. Sometimes we don't just punt it out of the stratosphere. Oh no! Um, it's you know, it's it's what you come here to see is the 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 really good, the really good magic. You know the good that good stuff. There's the mutt. Mutt's back. Mutt is back. Mutt must attack. Mutt mutt's attack. Mutt mutt's attack. Well, uh, mutt's about to clean up a one one. Oh. Or the Revenant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. (laughs) 
Man. Good old one equip equipment, huh? Just getting handballed around the... Well, shall we cast a, a thing that gains us six life? I think so. I'm going to attack with the opportunist here. Oh, would you say that it's fairly opportunistic? <laughs> I think now is the opportune time for it. Because at some point they're just going to draw, like, in the wings and kill us. Yeah. Um, and and look, in the meantime, that's a beat stick, baby. Yeah. And a block stick. It, it's... <laughs> 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 okay, well, um... Ah, oh, piss. Opponent has gained about 75 life. This yeah, time. they have. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. That's not bad at all, actually. Um, well, shall we kill Ooh. it? Ooh, you know what, Sam? Yeah. I feel like we've turned the corner. I think we have to. Get out of here. Pop. Let's get a soul wang in. That's a hefty nine damage. And okay, we've got yeah. the clay revenant coming out of the bin this time. Yeah. They can escape the uh the cohort whack us for three, but we gained we gained life. Oh well they three. they get to actually slap the thing on it. Oh that's true. Ooh. Cast another creature. That's a fair whack now. Oh. Oh, okay. Did they forget how it works? Because it has to attack alone, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, I'll take three. Take three. That's way better than seven. Dancing. Dancing. Put on the survivor. I'm a survivor. Disappears. This on a first striker is kind of nifty. A little dangerous. Um, but not when we got Gaia's gift. Yeah. Uh, attack with these two again? Yeah, the combat step. I like the combat step. These two. These two. These two? I mean, yeah. I mean, if they put the whole board in front of it, oh. be my guest. Into the chump step. Love the, we love a good chump step at the, at the draft box. Which seems to be a little sort of, you know... Oh, that's a good one. It's a reunion. Okay. Unexpected hero of this set. Yeah. Um... Pitch an escape creature. Oh no, shouldn't call it escape. Yeah. I suppose if they've got a removal spell? Well, we have Gaia's Gift. <laughs> oh yeah. Does Gaia's Gift untap? No. Go ahead. Uh, That's, that doesn't do what you think it does. Oh, I suppose, yeah, they don't know. Okay. That's fine. And we just block the frontliner, or do we, this, or do we this, take advantage of this, them? This was unearthed. This was unearthed. Oh right. So do we just take our moment now to to get rid of it? Which would suck if they have some sort of two mana damage spell, if, which they don't. If they had, if they had removal, they would have done it pre combat. Oh, oh some thank you. Uh, you may gain if you do exile it. Yeah, how, actually, how many thingies do we have in the graveyard? One, two, two. No, yeah, it's, it's three. It. It's we'll gain three. Oh, okay. Okay. Pew. Well, the land's not helpful, but um, four three and a six five. I think so. Take ten. That's fine. Scry two. Scry two is a little dangerous at this stage of the game. 
Oh, double bottom is good, though. There we go. They do have haste out of nowhere that we need to be a little careful of. Yeah, but they don't seem to be investing in... Ew. Chaplain, sure. Oh, okay, that, deal. Is that Kayla? Oh, Kayla's reconstruction, okay. And another deadly repost in the bin. Done! Ooh! That ooh, was clean. Ooh, me like! That was clean. We turned the corner on him? Yeah, that was a very scary start that they pulled out. Oh, yeah, that was like... That was like the, you know, I'm going to go 7-0 with my red-white deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, spider, spider power, Sam. Spider spawning strikes again. Spider, spider supremacy. Oh, that's the title of the video. Not spider spawning? Well, that's, that's such an obscure draft reference that not everyone gets. Everyone gets that reference. No one gets that reference. Comment if you get that reference. Yes, comment not, if you get it. Not everyone has been playing Magic for three months like you. What? What a burn. <laughs> it's really easily debunkable as well, because all you got to do is click videos on the Draft Monks channel and go, ah, these guys have been playing uh, longer for than three months. Uh, they can see that I have been playing longer than three months, but, you know, sometimes you suggest things like put two mountains in your in your... Everyone um, loved LSL that. Core deck. Everyone loved uh, that. I, Let's not talk about is... like, um, you know, people agreeing with Adrian or not, because um, recently you lose that conversation. Anyway, I think we should keep this hand. I mean, Deal. look, okay. Right. You talked me into it. I didn't. You it's, all, you all heard him. We, we better draw a swamp. Like we just have to. Okay, this is getting dubious. Sorry, opponent's not doing anything. Well, okay, yeah, you're right, they aren't. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, what are they going to do? Attack us for one? This is, this is exactly the, oh, that's a good one. These are exactly the kind of kinds of okay yeah. Jesus Jesus okay Jesus 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 um... shoot down <laughs> like you may as well because when that th that thing gets value and it dies so I mean like yeah this exiles though I'm just gonna play dudes yeah true. We get another swamp so I can play two dudes. Wow. That would be luxurious, wouldn't it? What? Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, you could, uh. You could, you could play Disfigure and shoot down. I could shoot down the Stasis Coffin. <laughs> you. It's gonna be amazing if we end up destroying this so that we can get in lethal. That would, but then they just sack it in response. That seems pretty, uh, pretty dubious. I mean, they're playing this card. Do we do we give them that much credit? Um, uh, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got a coward stream on our hands, huh? I love it. Just play the second Thraxodomon. I love it so This much. is the dork this is the dodgiest start ever in from, the history of both magic. Players. Yeah. Okay, they've decided Nothing. Oh, here we go. Second swamp is all we needed. Alright. Um What do we do now? Oh, that's a really good question, actually. Um, just swing and kill something with Disfigure? I mean, they could double block a Thrax Ultimon, in which we shoot down the Anointer. Oh, that's a sorcery. Ugh, why is life so hard, Sam? What the hell? I know, I know. Um, do I just shoot down this and attack, hold up Disfigure? Well, do you know what we could do? We could just play 
an infiltrator and then spider away a Thraxodomon and then swing. That is a fair option. Because they also, they're all, okay, I was going to say, they're, they're also, like, not doing much, so if we can sort of, like, if they, if they guys might, I might cry. That's all right. Like, if they want to protect this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then if they go for, like, giant growth or something. Actually, does Disfigure even help there? It doesn't. Whatever. I'm attacking. Sam's attacking. Which didn't, which notably you didn't last week. Ah, uh, that's because I only attack when it's correct to do so. Well. Oh, it's that. Uh, I don't think that helps. Ah, uh, I mean, it, it's not a yeah, good exchange because they're drawing a card we're not just to save a Thrax Ottoman. It kills the. Thingy, doesn't it? One, two... Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, now, now we're talking. Yeah, because that's a one... That's a one, two. Sorry. Yeah, a one, two. There we go. Bam. Great. Okay, winning. Winning. Cool, that worked out. Probably should have seen that coming, actually, with the three mana up. Well, I mean, you never know. It would be hilarious if they had a spider as well, but now this spider is gone. Ah, oh, that figure, huh? Seems that way. Steel no! and oil. My spider. That being said, we've got enough welds in the deck. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> it goes to exile. What the hell? Sorry, right, we've got two more spiders. Attack. Perimeter patrol. Yeah, I mean we're you know, put the put the herd on them. I mean, we've got a board. They don't, but they do have four cards in hand. What's the worst thing that could happen? Ooh. Um. Five mana in black and green. Gixes, come on. <laughs> I'm legitimately speechless. <laughs> People are going to accuse us again of, like, post-commentary on our videos. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't even care. I'm going to find the time to turn that into a short. What the hell? <laughs> That's so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, the bauble. Look at all Look at all of our creature-based interactions, Sam. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That was incredible. <laughs> mm, great. Well, cool. Um. Oh, right. pristine. Oh All no, right, they got creature. the technology. Oh, and we're flooding out, Sam. Oh, they found they found all the lands. Coffin. Oh, that's the seventh one. Oh yeah, they got out oh, and the pristine talent. Oh no, got a seven drop. A six, six drop. drop. Okay, well. Well. Keep drawing the lands, doing our best John Avon impression over here. This, I hate this game, Sam. I hate it a lot. Was it worth it for that moment? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, there okay, we go. That's, that's actually, that's actually kind of quite good. Like, that that's up there in terms of goodness. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, do we trade the guy's gift for the opportunist? Sorry, for the warplow? The gorping, gorping warplow? Uh, I 
I think so. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, we're on. We're on seven. That would be a, a, a forks pass. <laughs> a forks, yeah, a forks pass. Love it. <laughs> Oh, why? God. Why would you not do that pre-combat? Oh. Do they know about this? No. Well, they had nothing to care about because they were just going to... We were chomping, so... Well, we're dead. Good. Well, we're not. We're technically not. Technically not is the best. Well, one. look! If we draw seven mana gain six... Oh, yeah. We might still be in it. Yeah, that's true. But that's that's the only hit. That's like, and they got to play no creatures. Well? <laughs> well, Sam? Sometimes? You play, to your, you play to your outs, Adrian. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's keep playing. Okay, well, I mean, we do have to trade it, which does suck, but I mean... I mean, if they attack with both, I'll probably just block the Skull Flyer. Go to three? Yeah. I guess so. Oh, I would, I would, I would sell you into slavery, Sam, for, mm. for no attacks, but that is not gonna come that's not gonna happen what about no blocks and then we draw oh. I don't know <laughs> an emergency world emergency would be world. pretty sweet yeah we just pick pick up the uh the boulder branch again oh we turned on the skull flare Sam oh no that's a little unfortunate. Well, we got a we got a couple. Well, we got precisely two turns to draw out. Three this turn, four next turn. We've got. Oh no! Okay. Think, well, well, now, yeah, okay, now. So now we've got one draw step for two emergency welds. We haven't drawn any yet, right? Emergency well wouldn't be bad. Well, good night. Nice. Good night. Uh, that was a pretty good run. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, look. Uh, I blame I mean, the opening hand, Sam. Gix's command is the second best card in the set, so. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you lose to that. And it's only, we only lost to it because you said it, though. I know, right? <laughs> that was so good. Uh, what is the worst thing that could happen right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Gix's command. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what, 1-1? One, one? 50 minutes in, 1-1? One, one? Are we really? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet potato. potato. Oh, okay. Oh, slam it. Slam it so hard. Never have I slammed a hand like this before. Oh, and we're on the play. Destined, destined for victory, Sam. It's a cool looking swamp. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, we could even go going. attacking like madmen. Like absolute madmen. Can we just get a couple more lands off the top? That'd be primo. It'll be primo. Hmm. Uh, a little, a little um, I mean, power stone fracture into whoa. What was that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Power stone fracture, sack the revenant, kill the chat thing, put a counter on the infiltrator in for three. I think I'd rather do that when I play something I care about. Yeah, I'll just keep developing. Okay. But uh, okay. yeah, the um, 
the open windows and doors in my house don't get along very well. Oh. Um, so that was the door in the corridor quite a quite a way away from where this microphone is. Uh, yeah. If I if I if I leave that door open and there's a window open anywhere in the house, it will do that eventually. <laughs> Damn. Um. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Uh, that's good. Still not attacking. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, land into spiders is pretty nice. Well, yeah. we see, that, see now that we get rid of get that. Rid of. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. just just get rid of it. Yeah. Be so gone. We'll pop this. Sack this. Because then we got pretty decent attacks, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like this is a uh, this is an attack okay. right here. There we go. Cool. There we go. Mm, land, land, land ish. Land would let us. We don't really want a spider here. Yeah. We want to get this back before we spider. Oh, that's totally fine. The cooldown is involuntary. Oh, we like that, that's though. Totally yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, we like that a lot. Yeah, this is pretty scary when you are firmly in the driver's seat. But when you've just got a uh, old Gimli over here, it's not too scary. <laughs> Gimli. Uh. Okay. Opponent is going commando. Me too, opponent. Me too. Um. Attack? Yeah. Okay. If they want a double block, we've got a tasty little guy's gift for him. Mm hmm. Hello. All right, if you insist. Hello. Mm. That's kind of perfect, because now I get to bring back the Revenant as well. And and now they're just stuck with Gimli still. Sad. Poor old son of Gloin. Yeah, I know. Attack, let's go. Make hay, make hay while the sun shines. Okay, no. Right, nothing. Revenant. What does that mean? Oh, Revenant into Spider. Put the herd on him. I think I'm just gonna attack. Well, if they've got if they've got spells, they could try and ch trade with one of our boys. Oh, that's true. Let's let's yeah, Revenant into Spider Sam. Let's go. I just I don't want to spend the spider on this. I don't care about this. But we gotta win the game now. Nah, we'll win later. But, I'm just gonna the, but this is what Have you just not been paying attention at all that this is an aggressive format? It doesn't change anything about this particular game. <sighs> Okay. Everyone get in the comment section. <laughs> That's fine. See, like... Because, like, what I'm afraid of is they play their fifth land and then just play, like, a four or five. And then we can't do jack squat. Sure. Or all that mana up represented a counter spell for this. Well, now, however, we've got lethal if we resolve the spider. So let's do that. N See, now you like my ideas, huh? Just because you know we have, as you call it, lethal. <laughs> That's 
It's Ward 2 life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's basically f nothing. I like how it lobs a little blob over there. Just goes. I know, right? Bleep. It's pretty cool. And on the bounce. It's so spell. demoralizing when you're on the other side of it as well. Unleash shell. That's, I mean, okay. That's fine. Not as devastating as last time we saw that card. No, that was pretty terrible last time. And we've got we've got the revenant activation. Crazy. This card is so good. Scrapboard mutt. Looking for the yeah, answers. Scrappy. What are they pitching? Commando. Just a big, crazy... There you go. Juggernaut. Sure. I'm the Juggernaut! Okay, 2-1. We are officially in scrap work mutt territory. <laughs> or is it Gixie and Infiltrator territory? Oh, yeah, could be Gixian. Well, Gixian Infiltrator isn't a 2-1 for very long, but That's true, the Mutt yeah. is a 2-1 forever. That's quite true. What do you think... Okay, on the topic of two-mana 2-1s... Two yeah. Where do you think the line is? Like, what does a two-mana 2-1 two need to make it playable? And, like, we know Mutt is, like, way on the upper side of that, where it's, like, it, it like, rummages on ETB in a graveyard set, and it also has Unearth for two. I mean, it depends on the format. In this format, not much. Like, I've seen I've seen plenty of people play Mineworker. Yeah, right. Okay. And that's really close to Vanilla just Goblin two one. Yeah. Um, if it was Dominary United or... Now Dynasty, you'd need a fair bit on that. On that two mana two one. Uh I I like this. I like this too. Yeah. Oh, our opponent's got cooler basics than us. No no no. You're, you're, like... you're, you're thinking about it completely differently. They have bourgeois basics. <laughs> their basics are are decadent and yeah. will lead to their ruin. That's true. There's a revolution coming. Yeah, there is. Okay, nothing on three. What could it mean? Could it mean... Ripost? A particular member? Mm, I'm more afraid of Ripost. There's not much you could do about that. I mean, you may as well attack. I mean, what else well, you I can not do? attack. I can not attack. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Um, like, if yeah. they're going to cast Repost, they may as well cast to get rid of Thrax Olimon. It's just I don't want to let them use their mana. Well, I, also, okay. I just I don't care that much about this. Although it's pretty good with the Clay Revenant we're about to play. We've got another one in the deck, and we've got an Emergency Weld. Actually, that's a fair point. I mean, it could also just be, like, they didn't have a 3-drop, and they just drew... Um, See? See? This is why you listen to Adrian. I don't think so. I think so. I Adrian thinks you should listen to Adrian. See, look, they're going to cast nothing. Watch them. Post combat. Uh, just, uh, Post combat. We got the damage in. Big, big luxurious Vindicated. stretch over here. Uh, it's completely just, vindicated. I just get I get really stiff being right all the time, you know? It's just Um Okay. Oh, this seems actually like a decent spider opportunity. It does. I love Should a good... lob lob a bit of, lob, lob an orb at them. Yeah, lob a lob a goopy orb at them. If you if in doubt Lob, lob a goopy orb. That's what I always say. Opponent. This figure would kind of suck. I will well, sacrifice this. Triggers. I will shoot this. If they have another riposte... Uh, that would suck, but whatever. I mean... 
If they're going to no. continue to go one for one against us, the far grindier deck. It's not Ripost because they it didn't have any targets a moment ago. What are you holding? Oh, that's not the right target. <laughs> um, Decline this time? Or do we... Because yeah. I feel like now we kind of want to weld back the spider if we were to weld back yeah. anything. But then yeah. again, the Thrax Ottoman's really good for keeping up on cards. We do have another spider. I also just don't need the life. That's the thing. Yeah, just decline. Okay. I don't know. That's a hard one. Will we get... Look forward into the video where we get to, like, zero life and we could have survived on three. Mm. That's not particularly helpful. I need more black mana. Um... Tell you what you could do. You could weld back Thrax Odomon or the spider. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can't. No double black. Sad, because I was like, we could weld back something and then fracture and then attack because the infiltrator is a 4-3. Um, I think I might just pick up the Revenant this turn. And do nothing Cause else? Then, yeah, because then next turn I can play it and sack it to Spider or... Or fracture. I mean, you can pick it up and play it now. True. And that's, you know, that's almost like using all your mana. Yeah. It's the next best Good thing. Old. Good old bit of card advantage. Now. Um, Great. What don't we like? Gixxas come out. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Ooh, this okay. figure, huh? Okay. Okay. This figure. Well, um, sp spider, spider time, spider time, or yeah, I like a bit of spider time actually. This is pretty sick. <laughs> Bet they didn't expect the second spider. Nobody expects the second spider. That's they how they might expect the third. <laughs> yeah, they might. Yeah, they might expect the third spider. Um, got a removal spell for second spider. You're just gonna play the six land and a big five four that we can power stone fracture. Keeps getting in there. Okay, no blocks. You were thinking about it though. Yeah. Oh no, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. That being said, have we all. Shoot down yeah, we do. Which is probably better pointed at the cohort. But, you know. Sure. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how things play out. That, that thing disfigure. eats a disfigure like no problem. Uh, disfigure you. For the second time. Or did we, did we spider it the first time? I think we spotted it. That was an excellent draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. You want to keep attacking? <laughs> we have given them pause. <laughs> Quite literally. Thinking. Oh, whoa! That's a little okay. bit of a problem. So if I let this through... Does Fracture get rid of artifacts? We go to five. No. That's... Probably don't want to go to five. Okay. Man, quiet a spike is so good. Is it? This doesn't seem very good to me. Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, cool. So let's go in. Play this. Swamp? There we go. Grab a swamp. Play the swamp. Uh, pick up Revenant. Play Revenant. 
Your turn. Land? I guess maybe I could have... Oh, I could pick up Spider next turn. No, I didn't have any real problems with your play, especially that we had the the one one to just sort of like make their plans look sad. Because mm. now, I mean, yeah, bring it, bring it on. I guess they're just trying to force that trade. That's very strange. Um. Do you know what I kind of like now? Pick up Thrax Ottomon. Yeah. Yeah, we've got we've got Power Stone Fracture for for removal. We do, and also um, we're we're at a stage of the game where we can really sort of show them show them some serious card advantage. Yeah. And also just that one one to block whatever they put the the spike on is pretty also good. It's also just a lethal threat. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah, we don't focus on that. We focus <laughs> on the value. I mean, row format, Adrian. That's normally my line. I was going to say that was that's a oh, bit wow. rich. Okay, that's a bit rich coming uh, from me. Okay, this one I will. Actually yeah, I think this is. Yeah, we do on this one. Oh, dead. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, five. Not, not dead. Quiet. But like, approaching dead. Uh, your turn. Uh, I mean, they do get the spike off this turn. Which is a That's little right. sad, but then we've got lethal on the crackback. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, they knock us to seven or something, and then we kill them on the crackback. Yeah, three then half, so they put us to six. Oh, yeah. Well, Most or not. Don't, don't want to do it. Ooh, they've got something that costs four mana. That's why. Sounds good to me. Oh, unless it's removal. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, Guy's Gift! <clears throat> no life no gain. Life gain for you. No life gain! Oh, it's over. No, they survive. Oh, yeah. No, it's over. Uh, yeah! yeah! Okay. Very good. Whew, okay, we get uh, we got some we got some grinding to do. I quite like this. Yeah, this is actually kind of fun. Spider plus clay revenant, get some some action going there and then weld back the spider, do it again. Yeah, like yeah, it's it's sort of the through line so far as we just often end ahead ahead of cards. Yeah. Uh, we are now a Tomical Honor Guard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we sense a goddammit. I really hope that's an Australian reference. Uh, it isn't. Um, oh. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Revenant off the top would be, would really sort of make it, would really, really pull the whole room together. It would be pretty good, yeah. That's not bad, though. Not bad against mountain dot deck. Yeah. Off it goes the dance, and... Well, yeah. also, no two drop against mountain dot deck is also... Got a three mana three two for us? That'll do. That's, uh, that's a three mana three two. One, two, three. No targets. Nice one. Goodbye. Oh, uh, there goes the mechanized warfare. Oh, Wow. Um, cool. oh, and the board is ripe for a patrol. Oh, and then we can just golem next turn. 4-3, gain some life, live cool. the dream. This is working. There it goes. Attack you. Okay. We're on the board. The actual actual mono red. Whoa! Yeah, looks like looks it. Like it. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Can we stop getting <laughs> board white. Do real 
nice. Well, the old, the old double spell. The old, the old, the old double spell. This is not anger of the gods, so we can just weld all this stuff back. This is true. What if they were sandbagging all their creatures so they could play this? Uh, maybe. Maybe. But then, okay, well, deal. No box. Yeah. Strike. Do it again. Ah, oh, cowards. Give it double double strike. That's quadruple strike. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, this card is bad. Um. Now what do we do? Um. Because even if we shoot down, we're not really winning the race. And they have enough mana for the Sky Fisher Spider just to come down and be pretty impotent. Um... Maybe I do just shoot down, attack for four. We do actually win that race, and they need to keep pumping mana into this. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's not a large percentage of their mana, but it's it's decent. And yeah, we the the Dragon Engine, if they really do have nothing to play, can really sort of get us. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's uh, Dream Draw? Dream Draw. What do we like? What do we like? Revenant. Revenant. We like a Revenant. Yeah, we would like a Revenant, actually. Get some card draw going with the Thrax Ottoman. Mm -mm, uh, delicious. I mean, yeah, if we draw a Revenant, I'm just playing Revenant Spider. Blood, oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, but like, you know. Long term. Long term. I'm thinking long term here. I like that you're thinking long term. Thank you. Um, I'm also thinking short term. Ouchie, ouchie. They have double strike. Ouchie, ouchie, double strikey. Yeah. Because any kind of... If they show us any kind of combat tricks, it's getting scary real quick. Is it just me or does it look like Braids is vaping over there? <laughs> <laughs> Braids would vape, though. <laughs> <laughs> she totally would. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm <laughs> semi-afraid that, like, our opponents... Oh, yes, best card in the set. Oh, that's pretty Not good. Not anymore. Um, um, yeah, goodbye. Go away. We racing. Ooh, Clay Revenant off the top. Re... Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just can't, I can't quite uh, describe how delicious that would be. I'm also afraid that they're just going to do like a, they're going to do like a kill and fiend on us and we're just not going to block and then they're going to go pump, 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 double, mm. double strike. Yeah, that is a risk. Mishra's coming. Oh, like that! That's not quite lethal. Okay. Oh, uh, they've got the... They've got the thing in the graveyard. Well, we got a spider. Does that have reach? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh. Okay. Land. Whoa, that's crazy. What are you doing? What's wrong? They just attack with both. What do you mean both? The chain dancer and the thing they unearth. Oh, you're killing it. <laughs> Oh, I forgot Spider did that. Normally you react like that and it's because I've made just like a oh, hunt sorry. de mesure. Sorry, I'm very, <laughs> very good at magic. <laughs> yeah, they do unearth it, which makes me scared. No kill Spider. No! Oh. That's very sad. Yeah, and like it was, it was correct to attack there, because it puts them dead next turn. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think, I think we're supposed to play hedging on this. the haste creature is a bit is a bit out there. Yeah, 
I mean, we were on one. Uh, which means I think the priority is get them dead. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's all right. Sad. Yeah. It's possible I should have played the spider a little earlier to play around exactly what happened. Like you said. Yeah, yeah. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> Double strike and take 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not great. Um, but then again, like, those are the kinds of plays in Limited that are so rare that, like, like should you even... Oh, I love that. That's a good one. Well, we don't need any more lands. No, thanks for the thanks for the lands. We're good now. Ooh, stomp, oh. stomp them. Okay. Stomp. Okay, well that's an O four. That's fine. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't want the land. Yeah, decline. Let's get a two two. How good's Grizzly Bear? Even though I'm, I'm probably sacking it to the spider. But... Oh, in a two color deck. Very interesting. Oh, we ain't sacking that to the spider, baby. Not anymore. I'm not attacking. Whoa. 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 Whoa, I've never seen it before. I've only seen it in packs, and I've only seen it in last pick. Yeah. <laughs> they got two! What? <laughs> what are you doing? It really is Sparky. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't want to lose to this one. Um, We just go Revenant Spider, just get, get started killing some stompy boys. I guess so. It's all, it also uses all our mana. Which I, I, I am known to enjoy. And then we can, and then, you know, if, if, we, if this is a bit of a grind fest, then we do sort of get to just land Thrax Ottoman and, and go to town on that. Do we attack? Apparently, yes. Yeah. Tricks? That's fine. I mean, yeah, deal deal on the defensive use of Whirling Strike. Oop. Four fours. Combat? Four four. Oh, holy! Okay. Ooh! Okay. Oh, ah. That's got tricks. Uh, no blocks. Ooh, okay, we like, we love, we love that, in fact. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, cool. Let's pop this. Sack this. Do this. Yeet. I mean, it's technically not a race we're winning, but we have better cards. We have more cards. Okay, that's a little worrying. Okay. okay. Well. All right. That's not bad. Uh, kill the other cliff stomper. I think I kill this so I can keep attacking. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I don't want to take five again. This is just one bigger, right? Well, okay, what happens? Okay, so I kill this, attack for eight, put them to ten, play Thrax Ottomon. If they attack with everything, we take it and kill them on the crackback. Um y Yeah Sounds good to me. But I mean that also could top decks I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if need be, I'll just chump this with Thrax Ottoman. I mean, good point. Uh, there's... But, like, I know they didn't think about it. 
But if they did the mat, they know that they're dead on the crack back. And like, unless they drew a creature. Well, unless they drew the, the like, a trek, right? Because if so we take this, we... we take five plus two, right? We take seven. Yeah. So what are we dead to? Um, We're dead to anything that deals us two damage. Yeah, so we're dead to excavation. We're also dead to shell. True, yep. Whirling strike doesn't do it. I could trade. That's not bad, actually. And we it's no not longer have lethal on the crackback. Do, wait, now. does the warfare only deal damage to us or everything? Everything. Okay. Um. I mean, look. It's this either is tough. we either we either don't block, and the video ends. Or we block, <laughs> and the video doesn't end. Okay, they didn't get priority. Okay. Oh, we had the win. Yeah. That's okay, like... So what do we do here? Um, ooh, here's what I like. Mm. Here's what I like. I reckon you swing with the three, three. Mm -hmm. And then bring back and play the revenant, hold up the uh, disfigure. And then you trade disfigure and a two, two for their five, five. And then cop two. Does have vigilance though? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting this completely wrong. Or maybe you could attack with the three two, and if they block with the vanguard, then fine. I don't know. It's certainly very risky. Like the other line is like disfigure this, attack with these two, puts them dead next turn. I don't mind this. Yeah. Okay. It's a little cautious, but. Yeah, and I know, and I, I, I was Mr. Sam didn't attack enough last video. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. And Cliffstopper is only a 4 4 on their turn. Yeah. They can block three, take one, three, four, five, six, go to one. It's not good for them. Do we draw to I'm see gonna, what we draw? Or do we I think I'm gonna just fire it off Vanguard. now? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So now I get in with the two, three power creatures. Um, or do you get in with the all of the two and aboves? Which, which, which well, removal. yeah, we're dead to remove. Okay, now, yeah, you are right. Go. Okay. I'm terrified. Hold. Hold. Oh! That doesn't do anything. Planes. Not even a mountain. Not a, yeah, not even a mountain. Okay. Okay, so are they going for whirl? Is this whirlwind strike? Are we if dead to whirlwind is, strike? It goes up to Yes, we are. But if we double block and they just play another creature, we don't have lethal anymore. So I think we need to just die to Whirlwind Strike. 
Oh. <laughs> As if. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that throws a wrench in things. <sighs> Look, this is technically only a chump with one because Clay Revenant comes back. I, I think this is the block. Okay. Ah, oh, I just do it to me. Oh, me. I just I it has to be whirlwind strike. Oh, it's <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam. God damn it. They hit us with the oops too. I I ah, shoulda. Shoulda. I stand by that, right? Because if they just threw another Phalanx Vanguard and we double chump there. No, but it's not double where... chump because it's Clay Revenant. No, it's still a chump. Yeah, but it's 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 safe in a way that we're not like Double chump. The, uh, d- the chump. The chump bit is irrelevant. The fact that it takes lethal off board is the relevant bit. But that's right. us assuming. Like we're making two kinds of assumptions, right? We they draw trick, we're dead. They draw creature, they're not dead, right? Yes, exactly. So why don't we take the less risky play? Because we're playing around one card in the entire format versus creature. But then they said, oops, Sam. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I stand by that block. I think that was correct. But that sucks. <laughs> Is the video over? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Sam. This deck was sick. It's not a 2 3. It's not a 2 3. We could have won, though, with the double block. That was absolutely the wrong play. I think that is. No, but it was actually the right one. No. No. No, but it was. It wasn't. In hindsight, it was. No. I don't even know what you're saying. If we had double blocked, we would have won. That does not make it the right play. Yeah, because we would have won. I don't even know what you're talking about right now. I know you're talking about, well, the statistics, statistically. Yeah, Statistic- yeah exactly. We don't care about statistics. We care about winning the game. Someone needs to introduce Adrian, who's only been playing for three months, to results-oriented thinking. Yeah, results. Like, we lost. We single-blocked. We lost. Results. See, that's what people playing for three months sound like. I mean, I don't even know where to start with that. <laughs> you would if you'd been playing a little bit longer. That's all right. <laughs> um, uh, once again, blame Sam. <laughs> Everyone, look, if we're going to just go by the popular vote, I mean, my decision, my gameplay decisions are far more popular than Sam's. Don't don't you agree, Sam? That'll bring us to the shout out tro. This is where we give personalized shout outs to everyone who commented on our videos in the last week, which is undergoing a renovation. Adrian, tell me. Welcome to uh, Shout Out Row 2. This is the second edition of the Shout Out Row. So many of you have commented on this video. Um, the the fourth Brothers War draft, which usually the comments start dying off after the four weeks, but this is not the case. 54 individual comments, 21 individual commenters, um, and folks, it's too much. It's too much, and um, we have uh, put our heads together and come out with Shout Out Row 2, and Shout Out Row 2 involves the following... Uh, fun little rules for everyone to follow on. So you're wondering, whoa, okay, whoa, Shout Out Tro 2. How do I get in to Shout Out Tro 2? And this is how it works. If you are new, you get in. That's it. New newbies, they get in. You're in. You're automatically in. This is not 
this is not a call to Mackay to start making 50 new accounts. Um, <laughs> let that be very clear right off the bat. Um, even though you and we both know fully well that we could never actually figure out if that is true, but we will have a look at the account age just a little bit and also be We like, have our suspicions about mm-hmm. some of them. <laughs> So, uh, if you are new and would uh, have never commented before and uh, would like to to get that sweet, sweet neuron activation of having your comment read out by us, the Draft Punks, on screen at the end of the video, um, just, you know, get those little fingers of yours warmed up, do some typing in the comment section, you're in. Easy. It's as easy as that. Um, and, you know, if you've been watching us for long enough, you probably already knew that. But anyway, um, now, for the rest of you, you're wondering, well, hey, well, what about us? This is, listen up. So, we, like any good magic competition, are cutting to top eight. Mm. That's not the first eight. So, I don't want everyone, like, five minutes after the video has been posted, going, like, first, first, get me in the shout out, trip, please. No, that will not get you into the shout Well, maybe it will. But look, um,. We've had a bunch of people doing that as well. We publish at midnight, and by the time I've gone to bed, we've already got a pile of comments, which is amazing. It is amazing. But we are cutting to top eight. So um, uh, there are no rules except the rules that we invent. So um, if we like your comment for whatever reason, be it that it's funny, that it's insightful, that it makes fun of Sam. um, Ah, Hang on. Yeah. Do we need to just just That's, maybe we just cut this cut this cut this take. No, we'll no, just, no, no, we'll no, just... this is fine. Makes fun of Sam. Um you know. Um those kinds of comments. Um we're gonna cut you to top eight and um you get in the shout outro. Now, um uh if you have a problem with this, uh oh too bad. Leave us a comment. <laughs> Yeah, leave. And if we don't like your complaint, you won't be in the show. <laughs> it's <right>. true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, although that does inevitably mean that um, we can't include everyone, and we really would like to include everyone, but like we're staring the ba- down the barrel of like hour long shout out tros, and just so much editing work is not even funny. So, um, in in. You know, in order to, you know, make the shout outro a little bit, you know, zippier, a little bit more sort of like fast paced, high energy, we're cutting to top eight, newbies are in. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. Did I miss anything, Sam? No, I think, and to be clear, it's newbies and then top eight. Yeah, newbies and top eight. Um, so newbies aren't, newbies aren't taking up space in the. In the in the precious podium spots, yes. So it's it's newbies plus top eight. So you know we're looking at you know maybe like you know ten, eleven comments per shout outro, which is kind of what we were hitting normally. I feel like if you average out all the shout outros, there's probably like an average of ten or so comments. Mm. So we're trying to keep it uh, keep it keep it clean, keep it mean. Well, not very mean. If you want to be mean to Sam, I think that's all right. But just you know. Mm-mm. Oh, not cool. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, no meanness to Adrian. Adrian's the best. Everyone loves that guy. Um, yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's, let's be- put today's pick of the week up on screen. Oh, yeah, drop we us, do that. Drop us a fun comment. <laughs> Got to get those creative juices flowing. Drop us a fun comment. Let us know what you would have taken here. And we might feature you in this segment next week. Adrian, what did the very fine folks have to say last week? All righty. Uh, last video. Hey, check it out. It was the fourth one, The Hunt for Red Octurza. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you in advance for your uh, praise of how good a name and thumbnail that was. Um, <laughs> welcome to the very first uh, shout out to 2.0. And we're going to start it off. Um, in uh, red hot fashion with Gaming Fossil, uh, new commenter, uh, Gaming Fossil says, make hay when you can, should have attacked, 
lol. And um, we all we all know what this means, Sam. Uh, we do. It means it that means Gaming that Fossil I'm, I'm has the best. I'm the best. Not in Gaming Fossil agrees. With started me. things off on a good the best footing. foot you the best foot you possibly could have put forward. Gaming Fossil, you have put it forward. Look, if you want to make future future shout out for his Gaming Fossil, gonna need to. Lift Keep that standard doing that. A um, bit. So Just thank to be you, a bit better than Gaming that. Fossil. Excellent start. Perfect start, even. Perfect. Um, next up, another new commenter. We've got Koopo Plot, and Koopo Plot is in with a comment saying, I agree with the other comments. This is not a dirtle format. This is a format where you go hard or go home. Decks are too fast. It will punish you for not affecting the board enough early on. Does this mean that is would you say that Cooper plot would probably be uh, agreeing uh, that um uh, should have attacked? Uh look, let's not be putting uh incorrect views in the mouth of our dear new commenter. Correct Cooper views. Plot. Correct views. Um Cooper plot is making a correct assessment of the format. Uh, this is a fast format, but it's a fast format, but it's the kind of format where you, you don't necessarily need to be aggro, but you need to be on the board. Um, as they said, you just, you need to be on the board quickly one way or another. Um, like this deck had random three ones for two, um, just so we had something to be either attacking or blocking with on turn two. Um, yeah, totally agree. Good assessment. Uh, yeah, and I choose to believe that you think that I'm right. So that's great. That's great, Cooper Plot. Um, thank you for commenting. Awesome to see you. Next up, we've got Max McMaster, um, who actually commented last, last video as well, but didn't quite make the, the shout outro in time. Uh, but Max McMaster is in this week and Max McMaster says, really cool deck. I'm stuck just in the middle of the video. Hopefully Urza will not arrive late to his own party too often. Um. <laughs> Can't imagine that happening. Nah. Build around Urza, Urza not show up. Seems unlikely, doesn't it? Totally unlikely. In fact, impossible. Yeah, statistically impossible. Statistically impossible, and also, um, if he doesn't show up, we would also definitely start attacking, so we make sure that, you know, <laughs> we're not just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, Max is certainly right that it was a really cool deck. That was by far my favourite deck of the format so far. That, uh, that is a deck was that, yeah, sweet. Yeah, that deck was sweet. Um... But uh, what you, what is also sweet is Max McMaster. So thanks for thanks for commenting, Max, for the second time. Actually, um, hope to see you in future videos. Make that make that top eight cut. Love it. Next up, another new commenter. Um, we have got a singular white plate Angusol who says, "Please move on to the next commenter immediately after you've read this comment." Uh, next up, we've got Lee Walmer. And Lee Walmer says, <laughs> Sam's head is firmly lodged in Dirtle all day land of Pioneer. I know, Sam. I know. Planned, constructed, betraying mm. us. Lee's, mm. Lee's got your number. Adrian has been in the scrappy knockdown brawl that is the limited format of Bro. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um... <laughs> As the name says, frat bro it up and go hard. Get out of here, dirtle nerds. <laughs> it's time to chug a beer, smash the can on our foreheads, flex and yell in each other's faces and sprint headlong into the fray. I agree with you, Lee. And if you were around for the very start of the video, you know that it's all about aggressiveness. And even though maybe that whole intro bit was a play to give Sam a lot of extra audio editing work. Um, I stand by it. I stand by my decision to just put one long beep over everything that Adrian said. I might have something to say about that. But um, yes, Lee is right, uh, as always, um, and finishes off the comment with, Pick of the Week is something for two mana Probably bitter reunion. Nothing picked so far makes me think we're set on colors, and it's probably the highest rated card in the pack. Hmm. I like that. I like that. Yeah, respect for bitter reunion. 
Yeah, Card is Card is very good and unexpectedly good. Yeah, you wouldn't expect, you know, just like, oh, it's an enchantment and it draws you some cards and then maybe gives some things haste. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really, you know, doesn't seem like the kind of card that you would uh, be good in an aggressive format of all things. Yeah, but it just, it pairs so nicely with the, with the little goblin. Yeah, the little goblin, uh... He goes a goblin away at your life total with that card. Yeah, he really does. Um, so thank you, Lee. Uh, welcome to the welcome to the the cut to top eight, Lee. Welcome. Uh, you made it. You made it. Um, uh, we're we're in the thick of it now. Um, ooh, will you make it next week? No one will know. But that does not mean you should stop commenting. So as always, Lee. Thank you very much. Next up. In the top eight, we have got Justin Rauer. And uh, Justin Rauer says, hashtag wait for Urza. And this is absolutely unacceptable. Didn't we agree we were putting Justin at number one? No, 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 no. Justin- We talked about this. You Look, Justin, you have snuck Justin in here. And I did. No. I do not approve of this at all. There was- no, there, We uh, are not waiting for Urza. We needed to attack- Justin, I'm Look, afraid we've got some uh, we've got some big brains in the in the top eight. I, shout I just for it, I've got to say it's, it's nothing compared to the the uh, globular, <laughs> globular neuronal mass uh- <laughs> on Justin Rauer. Globular neuronal mass. I'm sorry, Ju- well, now I feel bad for you, Justin, as Sam's coming in here just dissing you like this. Um, Globular as in pertaining to globe. It means big. I don't know about that. Um, look, uh, yeah, I, I thought, Justin, that there was some sort of, you know, mix up that you t- somehow snuck into the top eight. Um, but no, Sam put you in here just so he could roast you and call you globular. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, (laughs) so um look not everyone can be right justin but you know thank you thank you for commenting uh nonetheless um next up uh classic commenter making it into the top eight we've got sorator bell vile um and sorator starts it off with pack one pick two no consideration to sigil of valor i think i take the chaplain over it but i'd have to think about it okay look i've googled globular (laughs) it's just like things that are like globs right it means spherical okay so uh this is this is not on, Sam. You can't, we can't be like, oh, shout out to her too. It's going to be the best. And then you're just like, haha, Justin, you're spherical. <laughs> look, we'll just, I'll, look, here's what's going to happen. Planetary. Now that I've said that word, I'll just go and edit that in. No, 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 it's not going to work at all. Said I will unedit. Ma- I will unedit it. <laughs> the magic of editing. Um. <laughs> anyway, Sigil of Valor. Uh... Yeah, I don't quite know what to think about that one. What are your thoughts on on the sigil? Uh, I mean, it kind of put in a little bit of work in um, a couple of the games that we saw t- today. Yeah. But then again... It's like, would it have been more impactful if it was just another creature? Well, that's the thing, right? Because like, I feel like if this truly is an aggressive format and... Um, we want to be attacking with all of our creatures. The sigil kind of does incentivizes you to not attack with your creatures, even though you've gone very wide. I agree. Yeah, yeah. kind of pushes you in the wrong direction. Me thinks. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, Sartre then continues says, "Pick of the week, Black Blade is definitely fun, but I probably would take animation. Pants are good, even if I hate wearing them. Hey, I mean, look, you gotta wear the pants." Especially if you're a fancy floss, you got to wear those pants. It is currently the Australian summer, which means pants are very much optional. Yeah, Sam might even be recording this video with without pants, and I would never know, and neither would you. No comment. No comment. <laughs> um, Sarada then says, side note, I have uh, taken to calling them small Urza, medium Urza, large Urza, and mega Urza, or mega Urza, if you will. It's very, it's very good. I like that. I like mega Urza. Yep. 
A 26-20 slap at it. Wow, you went there, G. Yes, yes, we did. I think you were the only one to mention the slap at it, so thank you. Thank you, Saratov, for noticing my hard work. Yeah, um, if you want to make the top eight, comment on our fun edits. Yeah, yeah, the fun, like, half second edits in the very center of the video where no one can find them yeah yeah <laughs> means you gotta watch the whole video yeah that's that's our way of making you watch the whole video um game two i think i'm with adrian here so you, you should have this. been attacking a bit earlier long, i'm not sure that here. it would have mattered but it seems like a better line to me hmm. good good to hear so at all I used to have respect for Sora. I, I have so much more respect. Um, at least Sam's not calling you globular. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but you're, you're right. Um, you keep complaining that Urza was the very bottom card of your deck when that was not true. Um, Sydney Morning Herald. Um, uh, well, uh, it, it was. We just scryed cards underneath it. <laughs> yeah, we just elevated it slightly. We lifted yeah. it. Lifted it yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> I remember we had a video once where that was actually our game plan. Were we lifting up the bot? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's a while ago now. That was a long time ago. I can't remember what video it was, but I do remember lifting up the bottom card of our library so that we could draw it <laughs> without decking ourselves. <laughs> That's good. Uh, man, now I've got to find that video. Uh, man, those were some close games. I'm disappointed this deck didn't go further, but then we probably couldn't have had win cons other than users to smash their face in, I suppose, which is, you know, fair. But yeah, it was, it was cool. You know what that deck really needed? I was thinking about this afterwards. Another Urza. <laughs> Keeper of the Cadence. Well, I mean, yeah, in hindsight. Lost, lost multiple games to decking. We should have just had Keeper of the Cadence in. Maybe. Lift up that Urza. Maybe. Maybe. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, the more I think about it, I think the more you might be right. Um, anyway, closing out the comment. This is definitely a format I have not been any good at. Feels bad. Join the club. Another classic 3-3 uh, from the Draft Punks coming straight to you this week. Um, I am so happy with those voices. Thank you. I mean, look. It's called being a professional. You're uh, welcome. <laughs> also, P.S. Adrian, please never say musky again. Then why'd you put it in the comment? I just said it. You made me say it. Wasn't very well thought out, was it? Musky. <laughs> musky. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Anyway, thank you, Saratol. Welcome, welcome to the top eight. You did it. You made it. Um, hope to hope to hear from you again. Next up, we got Mintman O Mergen. Mintman is in the top eight, and Mintman says, "Pack one, pick one. Urza is best position to show up, so you get enough time to build around." Mm, that is true. That worked well for the games you drew and played Urza early. Problem are the games where Urza hides at the bottom of your library. And there might be the weakness of the deck. Without Urza, there wasn't much really impressive going on to threaten opponent. Also, removal slash interaction was really weak. Yeah. Look, I think I think Midman has actually nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Like, all jokes yeah. aside, yes, Urza was hiding at the bottom of the library. Um, yes. It, the deck was sort of Urza plus cards. Yeah, and yeah, when we had the Urza, we smashed face. And when we just couldn't find it, we had a lot of trouble closing. That being said, we did deck ourselves, which meant we stayed alive with very minimal interaction. That's which is true. Something. Yeah, but that is a good yeah. point. Yeah, I think uh yeah, Mint Man's kinda nailed it though. Yes, um, and speaking of nailing it, pick of the week, Mightstone's animation has synergy with two of the four cards taken before, nothing else pick-worthy anyway, although I personally like the Hoarding Recluse because of the Death Touch Reach combination. Oh, you would have loved this video, though. Well, not Spiders. really, because we didn't put any of those in our deck, but you know. Yeah, we put two of them in the sideboard. Um, cut of the week, Desynchronize and the Temporal Anchor. Yeah, we found that one out. Yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, you know. we, fig we, fi we figured it out just a bit late. 
A little bit late on that one. Uh, Desynchronize greater than machine over mana. Five mana for one mana of mo or of the time for doing most the same thing. Token removal or saving Urza. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's probably right. I yeah, I think all the commenters accusing me of being in kind of dirt or value land are probably right because desynchronize is technically card advantage, right? Because it denies them a draw step. But yeah, I think. The mana efficiency in this set is probably more important. Yes. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And Temporal Anchor uh, over Curate both can uh, help digging for Urza, but Curate will do it immediately. Um, Anchor almost never. That's a great point. Yeah, I kind of just like glaze over Curate because it's not very good, but this was the deck for it. We just, we needed to find... Urza. Yeah, got to dig. Curate. Got to dig for him. Curate could have helped us do it. Yeah, so I think that's a that's an excellent shout. Great comment. Yeah, and on the, and you know, digging is a theme in this set. Lots of archaeology, lots of digging, and we were doing some digging ourselves. So we were we 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 really had a flavor win last week. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you Mint Man. Um always a pleasure. I hope to see you again. Uh next up we've got Muku, amazing Muku times 2. It rhymes which means it's it's got to be good. Uh Muku starts it off with 20 seconds in and just lost it at data driven. Amazing. Uh so it didn't make the stinger last week, but I had so much trouble saying that intro. <laughs> data driven draft channel yeah we had like a good two to three takes of it yeah it was it's really hard to say and yeah <laughs> but it was also really fun because i gotta get it get into my my data car drive off to data land um it was uh, that was it was so much fun uh maybe one day we'll be data driven again love it data driving uh, second comment from Muku. Muku says, "Cut of the week is Wow Fuck Tron, the power plant worker. I've not been that impressed by it as top end finish. The game style threat. Mm. I'd also consider the Rager or the Curate. Both draw mm-hmm. you towards Urza or Anchor. Pick of the week is Voiced Minor Horza percent. The animation." Oh. Um, oh, I'm impressed, Sam, just there. Um, Very good. But Riposte would have tempted me, especially if you're not super aggressive white. If you're not the super, super aggressive white deck, can be great against the low-curve aggro decks that are running around. Mmm. Yep, I like that. Animation. I think animation was the pick, but yeah, Riposte is... Not amazing in the format because most of the white decks are aggressive, but we were a controlling white deck, so that's not a bad pick. Yeah, agreed. Um, also for SIU, can you do the law and order voice? <laughs> the SIU. Was it law and order SIU? That's right, yeah. Can I do this one? Yeah. I can. Oh, yes, yes. Be my guest, Sam. In the Brothers' War. Giant robots are created by two separate yet equally obnoxious assholes. Urza, who loves machines more than his wife, and Mishra, who prefers oil to his own blood. These are their stories. Banana na na. That's not the musical thing. No, you no, missed it, it. no, I no, I inserted it just then. You didn't hear it. It was in. Everyone heard it. It was in there. And now we're into the credits music. Have you ever watched the credits music? Banana na na na. Da na 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 na. Yeah. Good. Cool. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't actually hear the edits I put in while we're recording. So you know, um, Sam was Sam was briefly very offended because I didn't put the 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 dong dong in. But I totally, you all heard it. It was there. It's the kind of mistake he would make, really. Well, that's that's not you can't you can't say that. If there's anything I <laughs> if there's any mistakes I don't make is I don't make the mistakes where I don't make the fun edit when I should. It's like a triple negative that one. That was that was complicated. <laughs> anyway, um thank you, amazing Muku. Uh we love it, and welcome to the welcome to the cut to top eight. 
Uh, hope you enjoy your stay. Ooh, can you make it next week? Who knows? We're going to find out. Um, but anyway, thank you. Next up, we got Michael Raymond in the top eight uh, with the double comment. And Michael Raymond starts it off with probably the best summary of the draft bunks is Sam had about eight different ways to trigger when an artifact enters the battlefield. And Adrian was just running bone saw. Followed by, I came second in my pod, thank you very much. And everyone liked this comment a lot. I'm offended. I'm a little bit offended, except that I feel like I come out of this one a little better than you do, Sam. So I'm 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 gonna reserve my offense. Okay, I'll reserve mine as well. <laughs> but yes, um, that that is a very good little microcosm of the draft bunks. Um, you are all welcome to comment with your own sort of like single sentence uh, microcosm or like, you know, descriptor of Sam and Adrian as like, who does what, what crazy hijinks, uh, do each of these, uh, crazy characters get up to? <laughs> we love it. I still want to hear what, I still want to hear what people think we look like. That, yeah, that's a good, like, give us your, um, law and order SVU, sorry, SIU style, um, you know, like criminal, photo thing drawing of what you think we look like. It'd be really funny. Is it Law and Order, L-O-R-E? Oh, my God. Yes. That's that's our that's our MTG Law podcast right now. Trademark, trademark, that- trademark, 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 <laughs> trademark. <laughs> trademark Draft Punks. Um, wow, that's amazing. That's the best thing you've ever come up with, Sam. <laughs> um okay sorry on to next michael comment michael then in the second comment says we do have urza that's more of a reason to pick up animation of a black blade haha i agree yeah well you didn't agree at the time though it was, you were very you you saw that black blade it's, you were like ooh. you were the one that said we have urza he's 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 dunking on you oh he's dunking on me yeah. Oh, I thought he was dunking on you. But I'm glad you agreed with him. I'm glad we can we can agree on this. I don't know if I agree anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> TLDR Iconoclast Glasses emoji. Splashes don't work when you're trying to tempo them turn two. Sam, you're the one who taught me that on this channel. Cutting iconoclast lets you stop worrying about color fixing and put back in great tempo white cards like engineer and recommission also why are you playing four refractors and not the the spring leaf drum also also coastal bulwark is a two mana artifact that draws a card by being a three three blocker i think sam needs a two mana cantrip detox and needs to de- needs to draft some honest green aggro for a few weeks fuming steam coming out of nose emoji um damn Okay, let me uh, let me just pull on my boxing gloves. Oh, <clears throat> all right. Let me just uh, stretch up here. I'm afraid. <clears throat> okay, okay. Now, everyone in the magic community knows that tempo is a very well defined concept that everybody agrees on the definition of, and we all talk about it as the same thing. Oh yeah, this is true. Nevertheless, we weren't a tempo deck. We were a mid-range deck. <laughs> uh, uh, Iconoclast, very good in mid-range deck. Uh, now, you might be right. Now, I know that I have been the voice of reasonable splashing on this channel. Unlike some. Well, debatable. Um but we didn't just have Evolving Worlds plus two mountains to splash our Iconoclast. We had four refractors. So, yeah, we had seven red sources. So I think we had plenty. Uh, Coastal Bulwark is going to feature heavily in a deck one day. I promise. Ad- Adios part three. Oh, no. I mean, oh, is- yes. <laughs> is coming. Uh, as for... 
two mana cantrip detox, you can pry my energy refractors from my cold dead hands. Hey, he may have to do that. Um, yeah. So, uh, ooh, uh, are the boxing gloves still on or are they off now? Okay, I'm taking off the boxing gloves. Oh, thank God. Um, anyway, they're, they're really sweaty. I can imagine all of that typing. Yeah, you'd think it'd be hard Ugh. to type in boxing gloves. But anyway, I'm a man of many skills. <laughs> Sam is a, ma- a man of many skills and many two mana cantrips. So thank you, Michael. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed the 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 you know the bright lights, the glitz, and the glamour of the top eight. Um, hope to see you in here again, as I'm sure we will. Next up, we have a shared segment in the top eight uh, with uh, Mackay Cleland and you know just some other commenter called Vitroxity. Um, mm. So we're going to start no it off. No relationship between these? Zero relationship at all. We're going to start off with Mackay. And Mackay's going to say, Adrian was definitely right about the second game. You need to push through with the four power creatures to make them use whatever they have and eventually get through with the three power creatures. And you know what, Mackay? I've been saying this the entire time you've been commenting on the channel. I mean, look, it's... I know I'm your favourite. You don't have to make it so obvious, but um, it's good to know that, you know, that I was right, Sam was wrong, um, I'm the best draft punk, and um, it's, it's, you know, it has to be said by someone, so thank you. Thank you, Mackay. I think we've made it quite clear over time uh, that Mackay has been the gremlin of the channel, the thorn in our side, the source of hours upon hours of stress and anguish. So I'm not surprised to see him throw his towel in. No, that's not what that <laughs> idiom means. Throw his, throw his lot in with someone as fundamentally wrong as Adrian. Wow. Um, um, I, think, I think the two of you... Fake. Um, not, go, go along quite nicely. Not true. Um... Uh, debatable. Uh, but look, let's uh, let's follow it up. Um, totally unrelated comment of Vitroxy. Vitroxy says, Sam was definitely right. Oh, okay, hang on. There was never a good time to attack. You can't blame him for essentially decking out at the end. It was the deck's fault. It would take someone with a much higher IQ to feed- foresee that one coming. What the? No, I would, hang I would on in now. fact say, I would in fact say that someone would need a globular brain <laughs> to be able to foresee that happening. Yeah, um, yeah, Sam's brain is pretty globular. <laughs> and look, I've I've always said this, always said that Vitroxity is the real source of ingenuity and refinement and distinguishment on this channel. And there is no finer example of it than this. Um, well, look, all I know is that the V stands for very bad. <laughs> very bad comments. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, well, the comments were so similar. Very, very oddly similar. What a coincidence. Crazy. I would, I will never know why. Um, no, very strange. But thank you, Mackay, and completely unrelated comment of atrocity. Always a pleasure. Uh, lastly, in the top eight, the cut to top eight, here it is, the final of the top eight. Um, is this co- co- comment of the week? Comment of the week, I guess, but I don't know that if we want to start doing that, because that sounds like a lot of pressure. Um, we've got a hack. And Hack is in the comment section, and you can see it on screen now. You know exactly what's coming, and I'm terrified. <laughs> Hack goes, I think it is only adequate to commemorate the Mightstones animation with a song. So please welcome the great performer Adrian Grande with Tight Pants. Um, Tight Pants by Jimmy Fallon and co. Oh, boy. Hold on. This is the part where I got to look at the... I got to actually go watch the video first. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Jimmy Fallon really does have a way with just anything, doesn't he? 
Is it just him laughing for three minutes? No, he's got some tight pants on. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, this is where I debase myself. This is where I debase myself for, for views. Um, you now, on screen uh, now, you should be able to see Jimmy Fallon as I begin the debasement. Everybody's talking about my top pants. I got my top pants. I got my top pants on. Everybody's looking at my top pants. I got my top pants. I got my top pants on. Oh god. It really is ghoulish, isn't it? I'm the only guy in town wearing tight pants. I got my tight pants. I got my top pants on. No one else is wearing tight pants. I got my tight pants. I got my tight pants on. Kill me, please. Hack. Why? <laughs> Here's a round of applause. No, no. A round not of... For, what's not, the not opposite of... It's, it's not for Adrian. It's for Hack. Why? Why <laughs> Hack? <laughs> and now you're probably looking at your screen right now and going, well, hang on. You guys are doing this top eight thing now. You put me in the shout outro. Um, and to that we say, shush. <laughs> shush. D- don't, don't let logic get in the way of my manufactured hilarious dismay. Um, uh, wow, Jimmy Fallon, huh? He's the best, I heard. He's the greatest at comedy. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. At least I hope Hack enjoyed that. Um, On to the actual meaningful parts of the comment. Um, also, pick of the week is 164%. I really want to say Black Blade Reforged. But that tight pants is probably the right call. Um, I don't want to say tight pants anymore. Sam, you go. I got my tight pants. God yeah, damn it. it. <laughs> um, okay, well, look, redeeming himself. Uh, Hack then goes, Adrian is right. You should have attacked earlier in game two. And you know what, Hack? I didn't think you had it in you, but you turned this whole comment around. We should- Why is this in the top eight? I mean, it- it's a high quality comment with fun jokes and songs, singing and dancing in it, um, even though that singing and dancing does bring Adrian great pain. Um, look. Adrian is right. We should have attacked in game two. This Adrian guy knows what he's talking about. And I'm glad you agree, Hack. Even though if you do have this bad habit of making Adrian sing bad songs from late night shows in America. Um, that apparently aired eight years ago. But that's okay. Um, next in his comment, Hack says, I think you should have cut the temporal anchor. Hmm. Funny about that. Uh, but I also think running third path iconoclast was not ideal and you should have kept two, the two colors. Maybe I'm not ambitious enough. Well, you would be in the same, uh, same sort of scenario where Michael put on his, uh, sunglasses for the TLDR and why we shouldn't have played iconoclast. But, um, yeah, you did get the whole temporal anchor thing, right? We, we got that thing out of this quick smart. Yeah, God was not very good. No, it was not. Um, sincerely, Hack Zach Sartor. I don't know. Apparently, you decide. Um, you'll always be magical hack to us. Um, the the magical hack, the camp man himself, the Kirk, the god of our Kirks. Um, uh, which is funny because Kirks is a is a brand of soft drink in Australia. So um, when we get hack around, ain't nobody touching our soft drink because he's the Kirk god. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> so that's uh that's payback for making me sing is I butcher your last name. Um uh, PS more slaps please. Um which shows that the uh, hack watched the whole video. And um oh well there will be more slaps. Don't you forget. They watch the videos, there will be some more slaps. Just give it time. Oh, great. I would like to to thank thank Hank for his his lovely comment. Hank yeah. Hank, Hank, Kank, Mank, Kirk, a gank. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 
Thank you. Thank you, Hank. Kank make Kirk a gank. Um, <laughs> always a pleasure. Well done. You welcome made, to the shout well, out. <laughs> welcome to the end of the shout out row. The the top eight has concluded. That is all. Um, and you, some of you are going, but this shout out row was just as long as any other shout out row. And to that we go, uh, shush. Don't ask too many questions. Um, but it would have been double as long as if we went with everyone. So if you missed out, we're very sorry, but that's the way it's got to be. Um, uh, we would love to put all of you in the shout out row if we could, but we're like, you know, it's just so much. There's so many of you. And although we do love each and every one of you, um, you know, time is money and, you know, these pixels ain't free. Well, I mean, they are, but we, you don't know that. So, yes. If you would like to be featured in our next episode, all you need to do is either drop us a comment for the very first time or be hilarious. Hel- or, or make fun of Sam. Agree with me. Or share us on social media and tag us. So let us know you've done that. You can email us at the address that's on screen now. You can find us on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG. Everything separated by underscores. You can find me personally. My name is Sam at calm underscore mirror. You can find me, Adrian, at WalkerAid. And Adrian, tell me, what do they call a werewolf on YouTube? I've been saving this one up all shout out for long. They call him a globular canthrope. It's a like and subscribe. I love the way you say data, Sam. Mmm. Data.